Today's video, we're gonna talk about UPF 50 protection sun hats. <laughs> there are a lot of sun hats out there, and I'm gonna give you, I think I have six, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna give you five sun hat suggestions that I am loving right now, give you the pros and the cons of each of them from different companies so you can make a better decision to protect your scalp and your face. <laughs> if that sounds interesting to you, keep watching. I'm Melanoma Mom, or Sean. I was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer in January of 2021, serious topic. So ever since then, I have become a hat wearer. Before this, I very rarely wore a hat. My melanoma skin cancer did appear on my arm and not my scalp, thankfully, or my face, but we need to protect all of our skin from the harmful UV rays. So if you're interested in sun protection hats, let's talk about this first one. This first one is by Sol Bari. Hope I'm saying that correct. It is UPF 50. It is a very soft hat. The brim size, I'm gonna put in the description box the brim length because that does matter. This one I think would just shade about right here. It's not a very wide brim. Now, I love this hat because doesn't it look cute? <laughs> It looks so stylish. And um, I don't wear my hats like this. I know a lot of the vloggers and Instagrammers wear their hats up like this, but that offers no protection for your actual face. So as much as I can wear it down is what I do. It's very, it keeps its shape, it's retaining. This one does not go in water. Now there is one annoying feature <laughs> that annoys the mess out of me. And it has to do, let me take this off, with the cute little detail here on the back. It's adorable. So you've got a little gold button logo right here that has the SB on it for Sabari. But back here, these little metal tassels, while they look really cute, you can actually hear them when they're on your head. And they're kind of annoying because when you walk or talk or shake your head at all, they bounce. I would still recommend this because it is an adorable cream colored hat. It goes with everything. It does have the adjustable tie on the inside to fit your head. So if it's a really windy day and you don't, since it doesn't have a chin strap, you're gonna wanna adjust that to fit your head and stick it, stick it good. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the next hat. All right, so this hat I actually bought before I was diagnosed with skin cancer um, for just style. <laughs> this hat does not rate any for UPF protection. However, it is a very tight weave straw hat, so it does offer some protection. I don't think it's SPF 50, but something is better than nothing. I love this hat by Madewell. Let's put it on. Now, this is definitely one of those you would see bloggers way like this, but for some protection, I like to wear it down. I like this one because it does have a tighter fit, so when I'm at, like, at the beach, it stays on really well. I love the colors. I love the black and the kind of natural brown color. Super cute. It does have an adjustable on the inside. This one is by Halogen. Again, if I can find links to these hats, they will be in the description box down below. All right, next hat. All right, and now this hat is adorable. This was this is a hat from Amazon, and it was actually gifted to me when I first had my melanoma surgery. A whole bunch of friends put a care package together for me, and this was one of them in it. And at the end, I will show you my daughter's matching hat that goes with this, because I got her one as well. And it says, hello sunshine on it. I love the black rim. It is UPF 50 has a very wide rim and the adjustable strap on the inside. Love it. It's cute and floppy. <laughs> it's the perfect uh, lounge by the pool hat. This next hat was brand was is by Sunday Afternoons. It was recommended to me by some friends. This is the largest brimmed hat that I own. You can see it's a super long brim. Now I did pick out the style in the back that covers your neck. Is it the most attractive hat? No. Is it perfect for windy days at the beach? <laughs> yes. For nature walks? Yes. This provides the most sun protection for my face. It has the adjustable strap. It also has, if I can get it off, a slot for your ponytail right here. It has an adjustable strap right here, and it comes in a wide variety of colors. It's very lightweight. It's very squishable. Um, it kind of packs in on itself a little bit. I wouldn't squish the brim of the hat, 
Um, it's wipeable, durable, love. You might need a packable, packable hat option. This is from, I got this off of Amazon as well, Wallaroo Hat Company. And let's put it on first and then I'll show you how packable it is. This is another wide brimmed hat, UPF 50. I love it because it's so wide and adjustable. You can adjust based on the sun, where it's at. <laughs> and yeah, love it. Okay, it does not have a chin strap, but it does have the inside adjustable tie. And look how pretty the colors are on this one. It's like a striped, it has um, black polka dots and kind of a cream color. It's very light and airy. It does have a frayed edge on the end and it does have a sweatband. Now, here's the best part about this one is I will usually fold it in half. Let me say it back. And then I will roll it like this and I just pop it in my purse. <laughs> so this is like my everyday go-to hat now. Love this one. I'm on the hunt for a hat, UPF hat, to wear in the pool, like to actually get wet. So let me know if you have a recommendation for that or what your favorite sun hat is. And you wanna come here? I'll show you my daughter's matching sun hat that she got, was gifted off of Amazon. Look how cute, it's pink and it says a little sunshine on the brim and hers has a pink chin strap. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.